right, so if you're watching this video right now, it's probably because you're interested in becoming more holistic, becoming more healthy, being more spiritually aware, or really evolving on a personal development level. So what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at a really simple, basic, and fundamental way so that we can essentially go to the root of the matter and really establish a solid foundation and a solid understanding of real holistic principles that we can then apply to health or spirituality or whatever area of life we're trying to focus on and expand. So first, we need to understand that there's a couple of different ways that we can perceive and understand reality. Obviously thinking, but also, importantly, feeling. And this is oftentimes the one thing that people don't really want to deal with and the thing that people always want to suppress. But this is really the most important thing because it's sort of the meeting place between these three different aspects. The mind, the spirit, and the body, which in essence, in reality, are all one and the same thing. But for the sake of conversation, for the sake of being able to talk about this on video, we're gonna look at them as three different components. So basically these are all feeding in and contributing to our overall state of feeling, right? Well, what happens when this becomes pain? What does that mean and what is that indicating? What that's saying is that somewhere in here or in reality in all of these areas, there's an imbalance or there's a place where energy really isn't flowing in the way that it wants to flow. Thus it's creating a message to our conscious mind to say, oh wait, something's off here. Something you know, needs to be shifted or adjusted in one of these aspects, whether it's our diet or exercise or our meditation program, our relationships or our job or our mental programming, any of these different areas, there could be a shift that needs to be made. But if we're gonna talk about holistic versus more traditional or I guess it's not really traditional, it's more so fabricated in the last couple hundred of years. We call it more mainstream. Basically what people want to do here is just say, oh, well, let's just take a painkiller or let's just flip on the TV or let's just go eat a bunch of food or get wasted or get hammered or go party or go you know, buy something or just in, in some way find something to suppress that pain so we don't have to deal with it, we don't have to face it, we don't have to look at it, we don't have to think about it or feel it or anything. We can just sort of numb it out. And this has obviously created a billion, if not trillion dollar industry of painkillers and psychiatric medications and a whole host of other things that really function to block out this, this important aspect and this important language of communication, which is feeling. So then that's more of the mainstream approach. But if we're interested in holistic health, holistic living, then our approach should be, as soon as that pain starts to creep up, we say, okay, what's going on here? Let me get present and pay attention and try to discern through logical reasoning what the deal is in these different areas and what is causing this imbalance or causing this pain. And let me deal with it now before it becomes something big. Whereas the more mainstream approach, it says, oh, it's just all in your head, who cares? You know, here's a pill, who cares? And then just keep suppressing it and keep suppressing it and keep suppressing it. And eventually, oh no, you have a big disease, something that really gets your attention and really makes you sit down and reflect. But even then, sometimes when people get a major disease, they don't even make the connection of, okay, well, maybe there's a message contained within this area. People don't always have that rationale, whereas the person who's holistic says, okay, what's the message here? Where's the imbalance? Where's the blockage? Where's the stagnation? Where's the fixation? And what can I do? And how can I sort of balance and sort this out so that I can restore flow in this area? And sometimes people, even if they get a major disease, they just say, oh, well, that's life. And that's the end. Or, well, it's his fault, or it's their fault, or it's their fault, or blah, 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 and it's some other story and it's never about coming back to this basic idea and asking, okay, well, what's really going on here? What's the story? What is the message that these feelings are trying to give me? So it's just a real simple, basic and foundational way, an example of understanding how these two different approaches would, would look in this very advanced diagram here. So hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.